Hi guys, this is Patricia from Yarny Cat Crochet. Um, uh, no, you're not seeing things. I'm wearing the same shirt as the previous video. It's because I'm doing a little bit of batch recording because I'm not feeling very well and um, I just wanted to get it out of the way. Um, so this is a little bit of a crochet catch up. No new makes, but there was an attempt. <laughs> I got this um, shawl pattern um, on the recommendation of Sam from Amphis Makes. She's doing this. It's not a crochet along. I just, I really liked the pattern and so I wanted to do it too. So, um, and I, uh, it's a pattern by Blue Star Crochet Company. There might be the name of the lady. Let me look in the back just to make sure. But if not, you can always go over to Sam at Memphis Makes Channel and watch her video on it. Um, uh, it just says, any questions, please contact the designer at Blue Star Crochet uh, company at yahoo.com so go over to sam's video um if you're not subscribed subscribe while you're there and uh i think she says who the pattern is by but i can't be for sure but anyway i like the pattern and i wanted to um i wanted to do it too the problem was the reason why i haven't started and don't have anything to show you on progress is that um i don't have a two-weight yarn and I was gonna do it in a three weight, that one right there, um, cause I like those colors, but um, it was gonna make it huge, <laughs> which I don't mind a huge wrap, but um, I might give it away or um, uh, sell it, I don't know. So I kinda wanna stay close to the pattern. But anyway, I, I I've got the first step. I got the pattern and I ordered the yarn. <laughs> so that'll be a happy mail video or yarn haul video when that comes, but um, it won't be very big. It'll just be what I bought for the shawl to show you. But anyway, another thing is, um, and I don't have all the details for this, so there'll be another video later, but somebody is going to have a crochet along starting in, um, uh, August the 1st and I will tell you that person's name and that person's channel on the video where I start that but uh, this a video here is just about the book that I acquired for that crochet along and it's um, written by Kylie Melita and it's a year of granny squares it is so cute and the content creator who is doing this I will shout them out and um, uh, tell you more about that crochet along and where to go to to join that crochet along in the video where I start doing all that but this is just really about the book that I got and I got mine from Walmart but you can get it from Amazon um, and I can't remember the other places but there's a couple different places you can get it but Amazon oh I think books a million but Amazon I mean Walmart is where I got mine from. I ordered it um, online and had it delivered to me. But anyway, it's 52 grannies to crochet, one for every week of the year. And um, I don't know if you guys saw the pinwheel one I did, but it's from this book. As a matter of fact, I think it's the very first one in this book. Um, let me see. Oh yes, here's the, I'll try not to show too much there's the picture I did that one um, it's not where I can reach it I don't think no there, it's not where I can reach it right now I should have got it but anyway the pattern was really easy to follow and you guys know up until a little while ago I didn't wasn't able to do patterns and then I got the Woobles book my son got it for me um, which I think is the best money if you're gonna do Woobles because um, the the um, the kits are like $45. I mean, sometimes you can get lucky and get one of the small ones off of their Instagram site for like $5. But it's just like the little things that go with the Woobles. So 
um, yeah, $45 for one kit. And then if you get like, like say, um, uh, the Sanrio characters, um, Hello Kitty and all those, a kit of like three of them is like $140 or something. And I'm just like, I get that it is so great that they are teaching people how to do these amigurumis and, um, uh, and that it's so easy to follow because it opened my mind to patterns. And now I don't know if it was the confidence that, um, helped me to do the more, um, regular real pattern. I mean, they're all real, but <coughs> patterns with more words because <laughs> the Woobles patterns are just the abbreviations and the, um, the numbers and what stitch. I mean, a very, very simplistic um, writing. And that helped me to understand. And I made, um, well, you can't see him, but, oh, there he is. Right up there, there's a pear. <laughs> but anyway, sorry about the hand in your face, but I was trying to um, move the camera. But anyway, uh, so I was able to do that. And then my friend sent me, um, this uh, pinwheel <coughs> pattern to see if I could do it and then I could and so that I got the book and I won't tell you who that person is <laughs> because um, she shared a pattern with me from the book but um, I really really appreciate her and later on I will do a shout out <laughs> of all the people that have helped me and uh, she'll be one of them but you won't know which one <laughs> <clears throat> but um so her confidence in me helped me to know that I could get this book and so I'm so glad that I did but um it, you see there's like projects um projects you can make like a dishcloth and uh, um, <coughs> a purse and other things so I'm so sorry I'm just not feeling good other things that you can get from um <coughs> or make from these squares but i think that i'm going to once we're done with all the squares i think i'm going to make them into one big blanket i'm not sure but um yeah y'all please whoever prays pray for me <laughs> and whoever sends good vibes and good vibes for me whatever that you do whatever that you believe in i need it <laughs> I'm having some issues, <laughs> but anyway, um, uh, neither here nor there, it's just life going on, but, um, so anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm going to join in a crochet along, and like I said, as soon as I, um, start that, I will name the, the channel, because I'd like for you guys to go over and subscribe to her. She's um, maybe not fairly new channel, but has a low amount of subscriber numbers. And it would be really nice to give her a boost, give her a shout out. Um, I'm only at 612, so it won't be a huge boost. But if everybody who watched me went to watch her, then she'd be ahead of me in subscribers. And that would be great. You know, give somebody else a leg up. But um but anyway, she seems really talented from what I've seen so far and uh, really nice. And she is a uh, content creator. I can't remember if it was Australia or the UK, but you'll know when I do that video. But anyway, I got this book so that I could do it. Now it says that um, uh, the UK price was $14.99. The U.S. price twenty three ninety five and the Canadian price twenty eight ninety five, but I got it for sixteen something at Walmart. So, so nice. I mean, I had to pay shipping after that, but still, still it was good. So, um, so to recap, <laughs> I got the pattern uh, that um, Sam from Mantha's makes is doing. And I got the yarn coming for that. And I got the book so I could do the crochet along. So there was actually absolutely no crochet in this video. But there is promise of crochet <laughs> coming. And um, so I could share that with you. And if you guys don't see me for a couple of days, it's because 
for some reason my airway seems to be inflamed. I don't know if it's something that I ate that has caused an allergic reaction or um, I'm getting sick. I don't, I don't know. I have no clue at this particular moment. I'm hoping it goes away. If not, I'll have to go to the doctor, but um, I'm not feeling really hot. So <laughs> hopefully it's just some kind of allergic reaction. I've only had a couple of new things. I recently started some gummy vitamins for women and I recently got this sugar-free um, balsamic vinaigrette salad dressing. And that's the only two new things that I've had. Um, I don't know if it's that or I'm coming down with um, some kind of cold or just my allergies being bad. I, I don't know, but my throat's sore, um, my mouth is sore, my lip is sore. <laughs> I'm guessing it's whatever I ingested, like the salad dressing. but. I'm not going to have any of that today. I've been eating a lot of salad to keep my weight down because I haven't been able to get my uh, medicine because I fell into the coverage gap in the United States. It's called the donut hole. <laughs> and you pay a certain amount and the, and the insurance pays a certain amount up to uh, a limit. And then you fall into the coverage gap until the next year or you pay out of pocket so much money so I can't afford my, um, it went from being covered and I only had to pay $47 to not being covered and 186. And we don't qualify for um, Medicaid. Um, I have Medicare because of my disability, but we don't qualify for Medicaid. And um, uh, um, then uh, we, oh, the, um, like you can, for some companies, pharmacy companies in America, they'll pay for medicine for people who qualify. And I get one of my medicines that way, but this isn't one of the medicines that is um, covered by that company. So, you know, it is what it is. So um, it's a diabetic medicine, but it also helps you lose weight. And uh, I am diabetic, so that's why I got it. Um, so I have to really watch, um, cause you could gain your weight back and I haven't, well, I, I want to say six, I gained three pounds, but, um, then I realized that, um, I could do other things and help keep it from coming back because I've lost a lot of weight and I don't want to gain it back. And I've been holding steady it. 209 <laughs> so um which is a lot but i've lost a lot so you know it is what it is and until next year i won't be able to take that medicine again but if i can do my best maybe i won't have to take that medicine again my blood sugar has been staying fairly low um by doing what i'm doing now so maybe i won't have to take it so that'll be great um but anyway a lot of boring talk you guys are probably out clicked out by now <laughs> but um some some of my viewers like to hear what's going on so if you've clicked out you've clicked out <laughs> at this point but um you know uh life happens you go through stuff like our car broke down and um, we got it fixed and then it broke down again <laughs> and so it's at the shop and currently a lots of money and um there's uh really just no way but god to take care of it and we're just having to rely on that for right now i mean we rely on him all the time but uh uh nothing that we can do about it uh but hope it doesn't cost very much to pay <laughs> pay for and i don't have enough stuff up for my booth to um to cover it so I won't bore you anymore with the details but um, I haven't got enough stuff up to have the booth yet so there's no way to raise the money that way so it'll just be what it is um, we'll either be able to get it fixed or we'll have to wait longer and um, uh, so if my videos my whole point was if my videos don't get put up uh, very often except for I'll try to keep up the um, 
the crochet along until it's done on the um, the honeycomb blanket. Uh, and thank you for everybody who's participated and don't worry, I'm not gonna let you down. <laughs> um, we will definitely get to August 1st and get that done. <laughs> and um, and uh, any extra videos in that time frame will be bonus. So consider yourselves blessed that those got made. <laughs> if they get made, hopefully I get better and the car gets fixed and everything writes itself. You know, it usually does. It always seems, um, I don't have a scripture for this right now. Um, uh, I wish I had because it's an opportune moment to put one in, but uh, well, my favorite scripture, uh, um, the Corinthians one, if you go back in my, well, you know what? I'm not going to do that to you. I'm going to look it up. Sorry for getting up in your face, but, um, I know that I have put that in here in my notes. Let's see. First Corinthians three, six and, and seven. Look that up, but it basically says, for I have planted Apollo water, but God giveth the increase because neither am I, basically this is, I'm paraphrasing, neither am I anything or Apollos anything. This was in the Bible. So Apollos was a popular name back in the day, I'm supposing. <laughs> Don't take my word for it. Look it up yourself, but um, 1 Corinthians 3, 6 and 7. So neither am I anything or Apollos anything, but God who gives us the blessings. And um, and sometimes you think if I do this, this and this, if I work these extra hours and I, but you know, God gives you the opportunity to have those extra hours. If your company even gives them any more, they're trying to cut costs wherever th that they can. So the very fact that you have a job or that you get any extra hours all depends on whether in my opinion now, remember that I'm a Christian, these are my beliefs, and you can either take them or leave them, um, click out or continue watching. Everybody's welcome here of all different beliefs and um, just, you know, be nice in the comments. It, uh, constructive criticism is good, but if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say nothing at all. <laughs> you can you can say things and still be nice, you know, my point. But anyway, so the scripture is like, um, I'm not anything, Apollos isn't anything, it's God. So um, if we get this car fixed, it'll be because God wants us to fix it, in my opinion. And um, when I get better, we'll be on God's time frame. Whether I make more videos will be on God's time frame. Um, I truly believe that. And um, so any blessings that anybody wants to send my way, prayers, good thoughts, good vibes, whatever, I, am, I will take it. <laughs> and um, I'm happy because I know that whatever happens, happens for my, my good, whether it be the car needing to be fixed or whatever. I'm getting something, some kind of lesson, some kind of um, blessing. Who knows, man, maybe coming across the mechanic and having a conversation with him might be the very thing he needed. I don't know, I know he needs my money. <laughs> you know, his family needs my money. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's all connected and um, it helps to know that it helps get through the rough times it helps me anyway and and that's good if it helps me it it's good so <laughs> I have rambled on I hope you guys got something out of it um, uh, I know I get comfort out of making the videos even though I don't feel good right now it helps me helps me focus so um and that's a good thing so i will see you guys in the next video i hope you're being a joy bomb in your corner of the world sharing your craft sharing your passion sharing your joy when you come across that mechanic and you pay him the money for fixing your car i hope you give him a big smile because you never know what he's been through that day and that you know he might your smile might just be what turns his day around 
and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.